Hey there everyone, this is a slice of cheese playing the Second Reality Project 5, and in this episode we're actually going to be making some progress, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Like, actually going further into the game rather than just pretending that there's more to do in the early parts, because at the moment I don't think there is. Uh, well, that was almost a bad start, but right now we're in Vanilla Dome 3, I think, 4, something like that. Except not, because there are large bullets as well as small ones, and now we're going underground, by which I mean on the ground, which is, I suppose, it sounds similar, you could misinterpret one for the other, if you are not being too picky about how to listen to words that are being said. Is that a mushroom? Of course it's a mushroom. La 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 la, I just missed the mushroom, and that makes me quite sad, but not very... Yep, that jump. <laughs> It's the same jump as in the Haunted level, except this time there's a different enemy going to kill you when you miss it. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, try not to die, because, you know, if you die this one, then then you'll have died all the ones, and there's lots of, lots of um, paintbrushes going around. It's, it's a common plague in this, in this day of the world. Okay, Charlie, you've just disappeared. That'll do me just fine. Alright, now, if I make that... No, it goes away from me, whatever I do. Nothing I can do there, in other words. Now, if I get up like that, then that will allow me, allow me to glue something or another. Like, go up here, for example, and then jump on the green. Springy spring, the spring spring. Everyone's favourite season. Come on! There we go. And where does this lead? This leads down into a pipe. And where's the pipe lead? The pipe leads over into... Charlieville. It's the hound tone of the Cholis. E. coli is everyone's favourite bacteria. For the sole purpose, it's basically the only one that's ever used in the laboratory. Don't know why. Maybe it's just easy to get hold of. Maybe that was a slightly pointless excursion. It might have led to the secret exit if I was being slightly more careful in my looking skills. But as it is, I almost got tricked by an invisible note block. But as it is, I'm getting tricked by an invisible midpoint. Can I go in there? Can I get in there? I think that's probably the outpipe. So, uh, yes, let's just get ourselves a fire flower because, of course, this is a let's play, so we must be plural all the time. Let's play is the plural of let's play. I have made seven let's- it's like David Ambrett all over again. I have made seven let's play, and there they are, all grazing in the field. Because the field is also singular when it's plural. Because David Attenborough, or something. Oh no! Isn't this predicamental? Probably. 26 star points? Where do you think that leads? I think that leads to the land of 26 star points. But where on earth? Shall this normal exit of exitude lead? The obvious place, of course. Now let's go and find the secret one. If it is possible. No one knows about the possibility of things which have never happened before. Well, that's not true. You will guess what is possible and not based on similar previous happening events. <laughs> and this is why we wait and don't just sort of be silly all the time. Similitude is the folly of mankind, according to probably at least two people. I mean, according to at least two people, all sorts of weird, wonderful, and incorrect opinions are true. Let's all go philosophical about how bold truth is relatively awesome, not like that. Let's, uh, oh no, Charlie is going to run away, but not quite away enough. It is not our way, and thus the way does not count as the way at all. Okay, if you um, might make a point that way, then I have to stop running away. The mushroom likes to run away. It likes to run away, and I like to accidentally get hit in the face by the guy. Can I actually get the mushroom? Oh, looks like it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No one deserves to die for their crimes. Just because they've been stupid for their crimes doesn't mean they deserve to die for them. Because there is always some possibility of redemption. Likewise, Mario himself can have some possibility of redemption. Let's try and find out what the true secret of this place is, not that it just sort of leads to, or it leads because it does. But because that's what secret is, no doubt. So let's secrelate, not secrete, we're not secreting. I thought we had enough of that several episodes ago, back when that joke was first made. It's not even a joke, that's what makes it funny. And is up here where the secret is? Yes, it is, in fact. How do I get up there, though? Is there an invisible coin block of sorts? No, seriously, how do I get up there? It's a mystery for all involved. Maybe, 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 maybe
uh, is that no, of course there isn't a key in there. I check those boxes. There is no key in sight, but just to check the check, check the Czech Republic. I'm going to check all of them again, but no. There's no Yoshi, no feather, no nothing. We're going to have to another bring another external feather into this place. That wouldn't surprise me too much. But I don't think it's correct. It doesn't sound like the sort of thing that's necess being asked for in this particular level. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do sort of wall jumpy trick because those are next to impossible. No, seriously, what am I meant to do here? There's no way in the wayscape that I'm going to get up there. So I'm just going to jump every single place possible and see if I eventually... I'm going to run out of time here. And see if I can eventually find an invisible coin block. Maybe I'm supposed to sort of lure a Charlie over here and get him to... I guess that's possible. I might have run out of Charlies, though. I ran out of life. Right, let's, uh, let's, um, hmm. <laughs> let's give that an earnest second shot here. Right then, after about five hours or so, well, not that much, but you know, quite a long time of break, I'm back and gonna fall off in the same way I didn't fall off in the start. Right, uh, yep, I had to take a long break, so I just ended up watching loads of videos of different Let's Play, isn't that fun? So yeah, this is, this is the level where you do the level, and it's the level, and it's called the level because it's the level. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not what you're supposed to do. I'm pretty sure what you're supposed to do is just bring the Charlie out there, because I had a little semi-go of doing that in the before, and that seems to work fine, so just continuing to do as such is what I'm going to attempt, and the attempt should be a and yes, uh, I don't know, something. Something about something, but it's just as vague as vague, and vague, 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 vague. And Latin should be a language, which is vague, for some reason. What is the most vague language? Post your comment and answer, and we'll find out on the next episode of Insert Something Here. Insert Something Here is by far my favourite vlog channel. It is full of vlogs and channels. I know, I actually fell down here for the first time ever, and that means death, obviously. Because effort is the least effortful of efforts, somehow. No one really knows what is going on. Thing to learn about in the many years of tomorrow. Tomorrow is many years long, it's not a day long, right? Well, it is. Tomorrow is basically as long as the English language is, because tomorrow always happens next. Which means that something. Come on, Mario, actually get up there this time. Right, there we go. Okay, couple of deaths later. Here. <laughs> Again. That guy always faces backwards and is completely useless. Isn't that fun? Okay, that guy you're supposed to not to have hit, but I think I'll take the power up here because it might serve in help good. Alright, you can go. You two I can hopefully ignore in the future of futures. What are Let's Plays for? Hmm. I'm sure that's what you're supposed to do. I'm absolutely positive that's what you're supposed to do. But maybe it's not as possible as I would like to think. I'm absolutely also positive you can't bring a Yoshi into there because at the beginning of the level it says you can't bring a Yoshi here, which means you can't bring a Yoshi here because then that's, that's how it works, isn't it? If something says a thing, that means the thing must be true, right? Hmm. I don't think actually bringing a cape would help much. I mean, I could have a go. I could just bash myself against the and try and do a wall jump, but those are glitchful and impossible most of the time. So let's just run about here and attempt to build up enough momentum to do anything. Momentum is maxed times velocity, but I'm sure you knew that already. If you didn't, then you didn't. That's okay. And I assume since Mario isn't actually losing, well, he's losing a bit of mass thanks to a calm dark side, I assume, but not, not a considerable enough amount to um, do much. Yeah, I'm sure that would be possible with a cape, so let's pause and come back having been caped. Alright, and after the um, absolutely necessary cape-cation, which probably doesn't need to happen, I'm losing something, etc, 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 excuses, 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 and indeed, right, back into minute level, don't need to try and find power up here, so I can just sort of actually go and do stuff, you know, going and doing stuff in a manner approachable, and compostable, and demonstrable, and something abominable. It can be abominated, that's it, abominable. I suppose you didn't know English, you must therefore conclude that abominable is derived from a verb. It's probably in some other language a verb abominable. Abominate even, of course there's a word abominable, but not a verb abominable. Etc, etc, linguistic pointlessness. Let us do the inevitable. 
Let us it never takes towards whatever shall have to be done. Look, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. This is pretty self evident. Let us dispose of Carlotta here. Okay, that nearly worked. Let's nearly it even more so that it actually works this time. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I like to say wouldn't it in this Let's Play, for this must be a two person job as a Let's Play. It's a two person place, it's just two people. Effectively, it's just the only person with the only 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 This is the figuring out how to fly well episode. It's not working out that well. It's figuring out how to fly well, it's not working well at all. So, um, several attempts later, we're not actually any better off than we were when we started. Isn't this just a pattern for. I don't know, insert the other word. <laughs> yep, still forgot how to fly. But this will at least result in some form of victory if it actually ends up working at all. And if not, then I can just do this all over again. And all over again, it's in the all over again, so yeah, something, I don't know. Ask yourself many questions and you shall receive several answers. Ask yourself questions which aren't rhetorical, however. Ah, uh, rhetorical. What? What am I even on about? I can't think at the moment, I'm getting slightly stressed due to thing-based things, but there we go. And that is the secret exit of secrecy and exitude. And Exeter. Shockady Cemetery. That's a cemetery, that's a cemetery, that's a cemetery. That means I'll have a secret exit. That'll hopefully allow me to save. Saving would be a nice thing to happen at the moment. Falling in a pit would be an unnice thing to happen at the moment. Let us categorise all the possibilities here into nice and unnice. And then we'll have done the human dream, which is to categorise stuff, apparently. Yeah, why not? I'm going to take it later, but for now the cape is going to be far more important. Let's lose that cape, because I forgot how to play video games, because that was actually a pretty tough jump. And tough jumps, they're difficult to chew, you could say. I'm sure. Using your mouth. This is usually how speaking works. Not to discriminate against the Stephen Hawkins of this world, of course. Oh, that was a nice dodging action there. That was um, a slight variant called playing badly. Oh, 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 uh, oh, 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 oh. <sighs> this is the stressful world. This is the stressful world because the world is of stress. And it's another invisible ceiling. Which I shall attempt to call a hideling because it's funny for some reason. I have decided arbitrarily. The only way to decide is to do so arbitrarily. That was a death. Not an arbitrary death, but a death nonetheless. Uh, an additional good thing which can happen. This is an additional bad thing which can happen. Let's run away. That was not the most um, economical of running away patterns I have seen in my long and lengthy career of running away from patterns. Right, um, more puzzling confusionation here. More ceilings you didn't know were there and still overjumping and game overing because of course. Alright, several more hours of something or other later, including a walk and lots of not paying much attention, we're back in whatever this level is. And I have a feeling that it would probably be wisest to just sort of fly over the whole thing, but I don't know whether that counts as cheating or not, so I'm just gonna end up doing something or other. Most likely other. Well, that did not work. Let's try some different. Like singing a weird non tune. Not to dismiss the work of Koji Kondo, of course, but something. Not singing in tune is what I'm on about. Right, uh, I'm all about not singing in tune. That's my absolute favourite thing to do ever in the world, ever. Except for most other things. Um, sort of late in the evening now, so I'm barely paying attention to speaking, as well as trying to not fall in a pit. Right, so back at the midpoint, back at the ranch, back at the other such varieties of salad dressing. Oh, surprising seedling 
all over again. Seedling, yes. Not ceiling or anything, just seedling. It's a seedling, somehow. Right, let's try not to get hit by an invisible visible. Yep, that worked. At least I've got an extra hit. What's in there? It's probably not the correct place, but let's go in there anyway and hope it leads to an exit, because I... <sighs> I'm glad that worked. Let's try not to speed it up and just end the episode there, I think, if this saves, which would be an absolute relief. I am relieved. And that's that for this level. See you next time for more Return of Mario with less... I don't know, something. Anyway, yes, end.